It was late last year on the 30th of December when a bomb exploded outside an Athens court. Responsibility for the attack was claimed by a far left wing group called the Conspiracy of Fire Nuclei. Though there were no injuries that day, Greece is having to face up to a new generation of political extremists. The groups which operated during the Cold War had the ideological baggage of Marxism-Leninism, but with this new generation we are seeing a rejection of that. They feel antipathy, disgust almost, for these left-wing ideologies. In early November, a series of 14 letter bombs addressed to foreign embassies and officials was intercepted. One of the young men suspected of being behind the plot will go on trial on Monday, with 12 others also suspected of belonging to the Conspiracy of Fire group. They face several charges. Membership of a tourist organization. This is forbidden under a specific article of the Greek Penal Code. There is also a second charge relating to possession of firearms and explosives. Some of those accused will also be charged with endangering citizens. They could face up to 25 years in jail. Most are already behind bars in a high-security prison on the outskirts of Athens, and it's there that the trial will be held. For these young people, it's less about political commitment than total rejection. They are young people in revolt who, unlike previous generations, are unsatisfied with the tools of democracy. Protests and demonstrations, which we would think of as resistance, aren't enough for them. The trial is the first to target terrorism in Greece since those which took place early last decade. In contrast to most other European countries, for Greece, domestic terrorism is still a live issue.